the next one I wanted to look at was um, a series of UFO sightings that occurred in 1977 on uh, Calaris, a, British, a Brazilian island. And uh, during the out outbreak, the UFOs allegedly attacked the citizens with intense beams of radiation that left burn marks and puncture wounds. What's the update on that, uh, on that case? Yeah, this case is called uh, the plate operation in Portuguese, Operação Prato. Uh, everything started in the 177, October 177. Uh, thousands of, of people of several cities, including uh, Colares in Pará State, north of Brazil, uh, they were have been attacked by the, some kind of lights. Mm -hmm. Uh, of different shapes of lights. So during the day, during the night, no matter, uh, they were walking the city or sleeping inside this house, this houses, uh, a beam of light came from the sky, from these lights, the ships, and it hit them on arms and a woman uh, under uh, the breasts and left three marks. And all the people that got hit by this, this light uh, that went to the hospital, the doctor is like just a nurse. There's no doctor. She was just a nurse. Uh, the people got anemia. So the things suck their blood mm -hmm. or at least changed their bloods. And as we know, one officially, one person died uh, because of it, because yeah. of this attack. But we know that much more must be died. died because this attack occurred in several cities in north of Brazil. It's so Brazil is so big in north of Brazil, like Amazonia and Pará. Mm -hmm. uh, the cities are so far from each other, very far from each other. So uh, if people have died back the time in 97 or 97, 8, we never know. We yeah. never know. Yeah. Do, do you know whether they, uh, uh, people actually made a full recovery? Yes. Uh, well, when this is started, uh, the mayor of Colares asked to the Brazilian Air Force to send some some uh, officials to investigate what goes what goes going on, and uh, they sent a crew that was headed by Captain Wirange Holanda, mm -hmm. and they they camp in in Colares and uh, in other cities, and they shot more than. 200 photos and 25 hours of film of UFOs. They filmed the UFOs and they shot and they have photos of these UFOs. Many of these photos are in my book, uh, but the film was never released. Mm -hmm. We had with the Brazilian government and the Brazilian army and air force in 2013 and 2015. And we, we asked it for another photos mm -hmm. and we, we asked it for the films and they said, well, we don't have it. We lost it. We don't know what is it. But Captain William Jolanda told us back in 1997 that they have films. We, we did, we filmed the UFOs. Mm -hmm. We took photos and we have a lot of reports and all these reports, more than 3000 of pages of reports with drawings, some with photos, we, it's available on the internet. Yeah, Just yeah. Our, our enforces, enforces uh, against the government to release it. It's, it's a very, very amazing case that is still going on because we don't have the photos and the films, we're still looking for it. Yeah, is this a case where initially um, the government tried to suppress it? They didn't want this getting out? Yes, yes. It's all, all kind of government uh, does it. Uh, it was a, a secret operation, but the cases uh, grew so much, so much. Thousands of people, people are leaving the town. Many of towns became a ghost towns. So there's no, there's the, impossible to hide what, what was going on back there. So the government still kept uh, investigation, investigation, uh, but with not, without hiding it because it's impossible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. One of the first uh, alien abduction cases to receive uh, worldwide attention, uh, and Antonio Vilas uh, Boas, um, 
he stuck to his story throughout his life, despite the uh, skeptics continuing to claim it was a hoax. Um, so uh, is there an update on that story? Well, this case uh, uh, is very well known around the world. It's the first case of abduction before even the Barney and Beth Hill. Mm -hmm. uh, but he, and also the first time that uh, a human being reports that had sex with you know, uh, an alien being. So in 1957, Antoine Bush was abducted and then forced to have sex with an alien, a female alien. Wow. And this case was very, very, very well documented uh, with drawings and reports and, uh, and the reports of Antoine Villas Bosch. He never changed a word what, uh, of what he said since the beginning. He uh, actually, he never gained some, nothing, money, nothing with that. Uh, he had a, a great experience, an amazing experience. And he kept it, his words, even he died until he's dead. Did, did he ever describe what the alien looked like? Yes, uh, the aliens were in a, a, a green suit with a helmet with tubes coming out of the, the, the tubes. They never got, take off the, the, the helmet with the, a glass uh, in front of it. But the woman was very similar to, to uh, uh, I'm sorry, the alien was very similar with uh, 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 a woman, a uh, woman, uh, human, human race. So it had, a lot uh, of, was, it, it had a lot of human characteristics? Yes, she was blonde, uh, short, you know, with uh, uh, small eyes. It's like a woman, breast and wow. something gentle, like a, like a, a woman. Uh, but the, the aliens that took him into the UFO, he never saw his, uh, their faces. So mm -hmm. I, I'm not, I'm not know how, I don't know how they look like, but the, the, the alien, female alien was very similar to humans. Right. Okay. Um, and one of the most controversial of uh, all physical evidence cases was the Uba Tuba case in 1957, where reports uh, of a flying disc exploding over the beach at Uba Tuba. Um, what's the update on this? Well, this case is amazing uh, because it was witnesses, witnesses, but several people on the beach and many parts of the UFO that exploded what got but people on the beach and some parts of it was sent in 1957 were sent to a newspaper in, in Rio de Janeiro to analyze that and the Brazilian Navy tried to analyze that and send to some laboratories in the United States but they had no conclusion they uh, they discovered that some kind of minerals like magnesium mm -hmm. uh, were so pure that was impossible uh, to be found on Earth. So people said, well, it's a meteor, something like that. No, it's not, because the witness said that it was a, 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 a disc, UFO like a, a, a shape of a disc, like a flying, flying disc, a classic flying disc that exploded there. It was coming uh, towards the beach and then start shaking, explode. Mm -hmm. And some parts of this uh, this piece of the the UFO is still is still here. Uh, we have on one part in Argentina mm -hmm. uh, by Andrea Simongini in the Museo of UFO in Victoria, in the huge Victoria, Argentina. She has a, a small piece of this UFO. Jacques Vallée visited them uh, two months ago, three months ago, and took a, a part of this of this UF, uh, debris of the UFO and sent to analyze it. And they cannot, they cannot discover where it comes from because the minerals are so different that we have here that just must be foreign, like extraterrestrial. Yeah, it sound, sounds similar to a case over here that Linda Moulton Howe has followed very closely over 20 years. Uh, I think you've, you've heard of that, like the bismuth uh, metal and uh, it's, a, it's part of a UFO It was sent uh, in by the uh, grandson of one of the uh, people, I think, involved in the cleanup um, back in the 40s. And um, the, um, 
I mean, the minerals involved there are unusual. The fact that uh, I think there's three main minerals. I think magnesium may be one, but the fact magnesium, that they're yeah. the, the fact that they're in there together has, I think, baffled a lot of um, uh, mineral experts. So yeah, this yeah. Is, this is a, a hard evidence we have. I'm I'm just I just think that this material must be really really investigated for important laboratories uh, around the world. We have we, we must have a hard evidence. In, in, in our hands and we are wasting it. Mm -hmm. We have the chance to prove that we have been visited with uh, evidence. Like I know that Roswell <clears throat> as well had that evidence, but this one is, is, is in our hands. Yeah, yeah.